All right, so here is going to be a really short video kind of of me showing you how I'm slowly learning TypeScript and learning more about extending types and interfaces. I was messing around with this TRPC router and I tried to basically add functionality where I would extend the router um, based on if the user is logged in. So let me walk you through that real quick. So I have a router here called uh, Bookmarks Router, which is a TRCP router. And I added a middleware function where I basically wanted to authenticate the user and verify that if the user was logged in, um, I would just set something on context here, right? So you see CTX. I was just trying to set a user ID on context and I actually have this logic working. It works fine, but I'm getting a ton of TypeScript errors. It took me a while to kind of figure out like, what am I doing wrong? So this is a lesson for anyone who's trying to learn more about TypeScript. Maybe you'll run into something like this. So I added the middleware function. Let's look at that real quick. You'll see here that this is a function that takes in a context and a next. And first off, like I need to add a type to this, right? So that's kind of like what I need to do to be able to extend this. So I hovered over this. Um, actually, what I did was I kind of hovered over like how the, the query worked prior. Um, and somehow I managed to find out like the type of the middleware. It's just called like a colon middleware function from TRPC. So the first thing I need to do is like add this type to this function, which, you know, I spent some time trying to figure out why this is still red. And if you look at the generic types that you have to kind of pass in, it takes in a T input context, a T context, and a T meta. My head might be blocking some of that, so let me go down. So to understand like what this means is I need to actually pass in these generics so that I can tell TypeScript, like, what is this function going to return? What does this function take in? And there's something with meta. I'm not really sure what meta is. I'll have to figure that out. But basically what I need to do is I have to pass in three things here, right? So I'm going to pass in the context that's coming in, which happens to be defined in another file. So let me go to my TRPC file here. And this is actually defined in something called a router context. So there's already a type defined here. And I kind of just figured out that I need to go over here and pass that in as the input context. All right. The second thing I needed to do, let me try to import that, is I need to define like a new interface for what's coming back. So what a middleware function does in ERPC is I can take the context that came in, I can modify a little bit. For example, I'm adding a user ID to the top level of the context. And then I'm returning that to the other function. So here I should be able to access context user ID. All right, but right now if you hover over context, it still says unknown. And that is because I haven't provided a second generic here. So what I needed to do was I need to make like a new generic, right? So I can say interface uh, router context with user ID, something like that. And I can say extends router context. And I'm just going to go ahead and put user ID as a string or undefined. And I'm going to use that to kind of tell this middleware function that this is exactly what it's going to return. Like this is what the new context is going to look like, right? Um, let me put this on a new line because this is getting like unreadable. And then finally, there's something called T meta. If you hover over this, there's something called T meta. I don't really know what this is. I need to go look at the docs, but I'm just going to pass any here because I'm a TypeScript noob and that gets it working. So let's do that. And now you'll notice that as I hover over um, context here, we actually get the, the IntelliSense. It knows what type of context this is. And when I look at the bookmark router, all of my errors kind of went away. I can hover over context here and notice that it says router context with user ID. So it took me some time to try to figure that out. But I mean, it's good to kind of learn more about TypeScript and how you can like create an interface and extend other interfaces. So if you have an interface that you need to kind of extend, you can use this extend keyword and just kind of put more properties on the, you know, the class, right? I need to go and fix this lint error. I'm not really sure what's going on there, but yeah. So that was a good approach to basically fix the issue um, with all my red TypeScript errors that were happening everywhere. And now I'm getting an issue down here, which I don't think I saw before. So let's see. So I think this, because this can potentially be undefined, I think what I need to do is force it to be true, right? So that also makes me wonder, maybe my middleware is not working the way I think it is because um, when I do my middleware, like I'm, I'm guaranteed that this will be set, right? So I'm going to go ahead and say, put an exclamation mark there and maybe that'll fix it. 
it doesn't. So maybe I need to actually figure out where that user ID is coming from, and maybe I need to say it is defined. And that fixes the issue. So yeah, I don't know why I had pipe undefined there, but hopefully, I don't know, if, you, if you've, um, hopefully this kind of helped you understand like how you can do some more crazy stuff with TypeScript. Sometimes when you're interacting with third-party libraries, you actually have to like dive down deeper into how TypeScript works. And understanding how to extend interfaces for this particular instance with TRPC was kind of useful. So if you enjoyed watching this video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, join my Discord if you want to send me messages directly or ask me questions. Have a good day and happy coding.